when you first start a job, you make some decisions that will affect how your renderings will look. First is the room's material schedule. If you have not created multiple room material schedules, you can just use the Modify for this job button to adjust these settings. By doing this, you can make certain that changes will only affect this particular job. Next, I will click the Finishes tab. Here you will need to select the interior and exterior finished colors for all of the assemblies in this job. Click OK to continue. Once the job is drawn, there are other things you can modify to affect the colors. Here in the 3D view, you have the ability to change the color that has already been assigned. Click on the Colors button located on the left of the screen. To change a color that has already been assigned elsewhere, you simply click on the color swatch on the left. For example, I will click on the wall color swatch and this window comes up. If you were to try and select a color in this window, nothing would happen. All of the options are unavailable because the Use Material Colors option is checked. As soon as that is unchecked, you will be able to select another color to apply to the walls. You can do so by selecting one of the color swatches or by hitting the search button. In the search window, you can type in a name of a color to find it easier. I will type in red. The color labeled red gets highlighted and I can select the one that I want. Click OK to continue. This preview will give you an idea of what the color will look like and what it will be applied to. Once you click OK, you will be able to re-render the view to see how the color actually looks. Here is the room with the new wall color added. 